Yeah, and first off, I will level set that we were coming off of absolute banner years in 21 and 22. And for us, those are a bit of an unrealistic benchmark for the for the coming years, this year included, and the following years. I think capital was so freely available, and there was such just a, a large population of fundamentally sound, great founder-owned businesses and upmarket businesses that that those were real record levels. Um, where we are today, it's been a very, very interesting, you know, last 10 months. I would say that how we, what we've been seeing is generally 90% of what we've seen, there's been a slowdown in new deal opportunities. Obviously, debt financing, credit markets have, have been different, have been tight. I think sponsors, fund managers have, have been able to underwrite increase in debt financing, and that's somewhat leveled off in the lower middle market. Um, what we're seeing across the board in this 90% quartile really is, is difficulty finding good, fundamentally sound businesses that are backable, institutional backable. And what I mean by that is that there's true revenue, visibility, sustainability of their current growth and great tailwinds behind the business and in markets they serve. Um, so we've had a hard time really finding good opportunities that we could get behind. Now, the other side of the coin is that that 10% that I haven't mentioned, um, these are the outliers, the businesses that have traded at absolute premiums. That It's been a robust process, sell-side process, and it's been an absolute feeding frenzy on. I mean, us ourselves, focused on the lower middle market, have been competing against funds that we have not ever competed with in the past. Due to that supply demand imbalance, um, last thing I'll say is that really the redeeming factor here that will continue to drive M&A deals is their record level of dry powder and capital that needs to be deployed by funds like ourselves and groups like Tim. And so there's this supply demand imbalance where we need to deploy, we need to find good businesses that we can back, and there just haven't been as many actionable businesses and opportunities in market. Um, but we are hearing good optimism for Q1, Q2 next year and growing pipelines at this point.